Well, from self-driving cars to food trucks, there are a growing number of them. You've probably seen them. For entrepreneurs who love to cook, the Meals on Wheels route is a lot less expensive than opening up a traditional restaurant. And food trucks are turning out to be very lucrative for the best operators. Kate Rogers has our story. When Ben Van Leeuwen and his partners started making their artisan ice cream in Greenpoint, Brooklyn back in 2008, they had no idea what a hit it would become. There you go. With just $50,000, Van Leeuwen Ice Cream hit the streets of New York City looking for the perfect location. We drove to the corner of Green and Prince, and by the time we had opened the window, there was a line of 30 people. This is the peanut butter chip. And the crowds and kept coming. Today, the company has six food trucks and nine storefronts in both New York and Los Angeles. Their ice cream, featuring unique flavors like honeycomb and vegan mint chocolate chip, even retails in Whole Foods in the Northeast and California. And the business is on track to do $20 million in revenue next year. Food trucks like Van Leeuwen's have been growing at a faster rate than traditional restaurants over the past decade, but that growth is expected to slow in the years to come due to regulatory hurdles. It's very challenging to make them work financially in New York City. In other markets, it's much better. In Los Angeles, it's very truck friendly. In Austin, Texas, former attorney Eric Silverstein launched his food truck, the Peached Tortilla, back in 2010 after he couldn't raise the capital he needed for a brick and mortar restaurant. Biggest challenge early on was just staying mentally strong and trying to run this business when you're not taking a paycheck. If you're doing it, you got to be ready for, you know, an all out war on the street, basically. Silverstein won that war, eventually opening a restaurant featuring his Asian and Southern influenced tacos. He still takes his two trucks out for lunch and catering and expects to do more than $3 million in revenue this year. You are all set with your heart attack. Mac Mart's Marty Lieberman also went the brick and mortar route after her mac and cheese food truck became a hit in Philadelphia in 2013. It was only within the first few months of being on the truck that our first catering jobs came in, which is an aspect of the business we didn't even realize would be so lucrative. She and her sister Pamela wound up launching a Mac Mart storefront, still using the truck for catering and private events. The truck is booked up through 2018, and her business is set to do about $1.5 million in sales in 2017. People come from New York, people come from Los Angeles, people have come from England. We get requests from Brazil. It's just super rewarding to hear how many people love our product. You have a wonderful day. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Kate Rogers.